So if I told you that a coffee machine had the ability to bloom, pre-infuse, control brew temperature, pressure, and volume, you likely wouldn't guess that it's a capsule machine. And that makes two of us. And this is the reason why the morning machine was something that I was personally pretty curious about. To be completely honest, single-use coffee capsule machines like the Nespresso or the Keurig have never really landed on my radar. Outside of the random hotel room or Airbnb over the years, I haven't really had any extended experience with these kinds of machines. And I think that's because coffee in capsules doesn't really draw the specialty crowd. They aren't really synonymous with quality or craft, more so with convenience. But the folks at Morning kind of ask the question, why not both? Which is an attitude I respect. So today we are taking a deep dive into the Morning capsule machine. We'll look at how it works, what makes it different than other capsule machines, and if it's truly worthy of the title, the world's first specialty capsule machine. So in my limited capsule brewing experience, most machines have one, maybe two, or three buttons total, and it sort of feels like a one-size-fits-all type of program. But looking at the morning machine, it seems a little more intimidating. But it can actually be as simple or as complex as you'd like it to be. If you want, you can just plug it in, fill it with water, and lock in a capsule. Then you can choose from any of its 10 pre-programmed brewing modes, which vary from short shots to mini filter brews, and even a slow Kyoto-style drip. Or if you're anything like me and looking to fully go down the brewing rabbit hole, you can get the Drink Morning app, connect the machine to your Wi-Fi, and this will open up a library of recipes for each individual capsule direct from the roaster. From there, you can either adjust their recipes or create your own. The manual option gives you control over the brew temperature, the coffee yield from 20 grams to 150, added hot water from zero to 120 grams, and you can choose between bloom or pre-infusion phase. And of course, you can control the pre-infusion pressure, the peak brew pressure, and the ramp down pressure. So yeah, as you can see, this is some serious control for a capsule machine. I'm sure by now, after hearing about all the bells and whistles on this machine, you're actually curious about what the coffee is like. So let's get into it. To get a broader view of the morning's capabilities, I got a wide variety of capsules, from those intended for milk drinks, to light roasts, to a single origin Ethiopian, and even a classic Italian blend. All of these coffees come from a vast array of specialty roasters around the world, some you may have heard of or even had before. And from cutting a few of them open to examine them, the coffee actually looks and smells appealing. You won't find those classic Nespresso dark roasts here. Even the classic Italian blend looks more like a medium dark. In terms of flavor, these capsules have a much broader range than your standard Nespresso options. Of course, you've got your chocolatey, crowd-pleasing blends, and the fruity options for those like me who like to dabble in acidity. Each of course has their benefits at certain brew points. And much like brewing traditional espresso, those longer shots tend to bring out more nuance in the lighter options, and the shorter really drive home the flavor density. Every drink has that frothy head, which I'm not sure qualifies as crema, resulting in that very specific Nespresso-style silky mouthfeel. Which is pleasant, but it's not really something I personally want on every single brew. In terms of extraction, even with the base amount being 5-7 grams of coffee per capsule, every brew tested up to a 1-6 to ratio was well within the ideal specialty range of 18-20%. And with the option to have fresh water dispensed as well, getting larger cups of coffee, basically Americano or Long Black style, means there's something for every coffee drinker. The Morning Machine is a cool piece of tech, and it brews some tasty cups of coffee. And the experience of a capsule machine was something so new to me that as soon as it was out of the box, I spent two hours brewing basically one of each capsule that came with it. But in the end, it's still a capsule machine. so it falls prey to a lot of the issues that all capsule machines have. In terms of waste, they tend to create a lot, whether the capsules are recyclable or biodegradable. That's a concern that I personally struggle to reconcile. And of course, you're not going to get most of those smaller nuances of flavor that you would with a traditional espresso machine or a filter brewer, so adjust your expectations accordingly. But really, the way I see it is the morning machine is another step among many others in the right direction to introducing more people to specialty coffee. 
There's really no wrong way to get into it. And I think as an industry, we need to start looking at capsules and capsule machines more as another arm of the market. But with all that said, I think it's time I wrap this one up and pass the conversation on to you. Have you tried the morning machine? What are your thoughts on capsules and espressos and the future of specialty instant? Drop your answers to those and any other questions you may have in the comment section down below, and I'll see y'all next week. And a big thank you to my February Patreons, Stephen, Claire, Sam, Bound Coffee, Spookus, Noel, Cheryl, Tom B, Sean, Horison, Rose, Squeegee, Christopher, Ads, Josh, Corey, Tim, Matt, Jason, Cameron, Robert, Underdunk, Jeffrey R, Jeff Roth, Mike B, Brian M, Tyler M, and Jose M, BJK Cafe, JRC, Absolute, Stephen G, Home Barista Coach, Keefe, John K, Gumby, Alexis M, Barista Michael, Arthur L, Techcom Advisors, Ed T, Happy Camper, Keith M, Gary M, and Devo H, Ben K, Rami C, Monster 04, Bruce P, and Lilac Y, and of course, a big thank you to the Barista and Barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and the upper right-hand corner right now. And of course, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week, my blog at Spermetheus.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.